everyone welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing well so today we'll talk about the upcoming transit of saturn in the shatta prasha nakshatra most requested video for the month of march so let's talk about how saturn will work in this nakshatra of rahu and how it's going to impact all the ascendant signs the moon signs you can listen to this analysis as for your ascendant moon sun sign all right now before we start just one thing i want to mention let me clear the air because uh, in the past one month i have been approached by a lot of people and even some are criticizing me that you don't know anything like you need to get your facts facts checked because Saturn already entered into Pisces okay for you it's still an Aquarius how so there are two systems in astrology one is sidereal and one is tropical for tropical Saturn entered into Pisces but for sidereal Saturn just entered into Aquarius so we're following here the sidereal system all right so let's see how sun works in the rahu's nakshatra the nakshatra of hundred of stars hundred of physicians now sun is playing a game like it will move into the shatabrasha then it will go to the purva bhadrapada then it will come back to the shatabrasha then to the next nakshatra and then coming back to shatabrasha again this game is happening thrice in the year of 2023 and 2024 so on 15th of march saturn moves into shatabrasha it will stay there up to 15th of october then from 24th of november 2023 to around 5th of april 2024 saturn will again be in this very same nakshatra and then again in the very last part of 2024 around between um october to december again saturn is in this nakshatra you can see the dates on your screen if i miss something <laughs> okay so let's focus on what does this transit is all about the Shatta Prasha Nakshatra falls between 6 degrees 40 minutes to 20 degrees of Aquarius. So this Nakshatra lies in the very heart of Aquarius, it's in the very core of Aquarius and this zone is ruled by Rahu and also ruled by Saturn. And now as Saturn transits from this particular nakshatra, which belongs to the hundred of stars. Now Aquarius is a constellation which is a home to millions and millions of stars. So whenever someone discovered this nakshatra and said, oh, look, th th these are the hundred stars, the hundred positions, it's definitely more than hundred of stars. It could be in thousands and millions because it's a home to deep sky objects, a lot of globular um, star clusters as well. So there's so many beautiful shiny things out there and it's just about finding your true self. This is a place when Saturn transits this nakshatra you will see a lot of things about yourself, your true self. Because Shatabrasha is the secret, okay? It's hidden, it's deep within. And Rahu is about smoke. But when the sun transits from this nakshatra, there is unveiling happening for you. Something beautiful will be revealed about you. And this process is, it's not easy because ultimately it's Saturn, but Saturn functioning is amazing in this nakshatra. It is functioning to the next level, helping you to stay fixed to your goals, stay fixed to whatever path you want to follow. So in this transit, Rahu helps in unveiling your true path your true potential, something beautiful about you, nothing bad, okay? These 100 stars of Shatabrasha is about healing, finding ways to heal 
and correct something about your life. So Rahu helps in unveiling of your true nature, of your true potential, your quality and what needs to be done to heal your life, to fix something. What Saturn is doing, it's bringing more constructive changes. It's helping you to stay fixed to your path. All right. And Saturn is also a planet of distress. It brings death. So whatever you are achieving when this transit happens, it will bring something brilliant for everyone. But you have to undergo the test of Saturn, the trial of Saturn. And it's about death of something which is constantly giving you fear, which is constantly giving you tension. So you are going through a process of difficulty where you are being tested, like how strong you are. Will you let go something? Will you let go the fear of something? Do you have the ability to, you know, uh, be more disciplined towards your goals? So a small test is there, but I'm definitely um sure that when Saturn transits from Shatabrisha, something beautiful is discovered about your life and it's giving you this unmatched ability to chase your goals. There is more clarity, there's more focus on what you want and even if you deal with any difficulty, you're still on your path. No one can stop you. So I think Saturn's transit from Shatabrisha is about resolving all the things which are becoming a psychological block for you. And it's the best time to meet with your true self, to meet that person who is best for you and that is your true self. So yes, there are some difficulties, but great discoveries will happen at this time now let's look into how this transit will work for all the different ascendants hey everyone let's talk about aries so for you saturn transiting from the shatta bisha nakshatra that is your 11th house and it gives third aspect on the first house the most important transformation happening in this transit is related to you not what you are doing in life but how you are treating yourself how you are taking care of yourself because i have mentioned this in the introduction that this transit of saturn from the shatta bhasha nakshatra is unveiling something about you and as it aspects the first house you are going to realize how till now your aims, whatever you were doing, was more about what others were expecting you to do. Okay? And this transit wants you to see your daily routine, what you are doing every single day, whether it's uh resting whether it's watching tv whatever you do very simple simple activities but look into your life with the great depth how you are using your time saturn transiting from 11th house this house is about you know the material success in life and money but this transit wants you to teach that Time is money. And how to use your time, how to focus on your day-to-day -day life and improve it. Improve your health, improve uh, how you approach to different things, different aspects of life. So unveiling of self, unveiling of your true power happens here. And Saturn may challenge you. With respect to health, it may challenge you by keeping you confused in many, many ideas like I want to do this also, that also because you truly require to work on your financial stability. It is the need of the current situation. 
you want to grow abundantly but in order to grow you have to look into the core what you are doing with your day to day life and um this is also about understanding the fact that nothing happens overnight whatever you want to create in life whatever you want to achieve in life it is possible it will turn out to be way better uh than you're expecting it to be but patience is required the biggest test with this transit is sometimes you want to give up maybe sometimes you may want to you know quit whatever you were doing it could be anything it could be a work project it could be a creative work it could be your relationship because first house is you what surrounds you and overall where you are going in life so it could be anything any aspect of life which is challenging you so much that you want to quit and definitely it's not the time to quit you will see big accomplishments in this transit your patience is bringing great rewards it's just that you need to work on your perseverance and determination and then saturn aspects the 5th house ruled by leo again it takes you to unfamiliar zone this is the house of creative potential what you create in life how you create um your journey the efforts you're putting into your life and how much power you have the skills you have so saturn aspecting this house uh is definitely giving the assurity that you are at the right place right now where you are just where you are need to be in the current situation and um, you're finding your true beauty like what is your true skill what is your true power and how to use it smartly this is going to happen in this particular transit and further saturn aspects the 8th house so already the shatha bisha nakshatra is about unveiling the secrets unveiling the true you and now it aspects the 8th house this is about really resolving many things in life like understanding the truth about a certain situation about a certain person may happen like slowly you will discover what is the intention of a significant person in your life it could also be diving deep into occult diving deep into spirituality or some research work and also again health needs a lot of care because this is the house of chronic uh, health issues so maybe you are going in the you know in the depth of finding what irritates you what is making your health difficult what triggers you all the time so it shows a lot of work in health holistic healing and uh, i think it is also about working on companionship and your relationship how saturn aspects the 5th and the 8th house been in the in the shatha bisha nakshatra this is about removing all the, the all the prejudice you have your partner is having any kind of uh, assumptions removing all of that and understanding more of the spiritual connection between you two one more thing i would like to talk about as saturn transits from the shatha bisha nakshatra and how it aspects the first house i was telling you you're unveiling many gifts deep within a lot of power and courage to do things to achieve things in life and becoming more confident a better version of yourself because the first house is definitely you and your approach towards think and saturn also want you to understand you have a lot with you you are afraid that you're running out of resources you're running out of help maybe you want external support you don't have enough 
at the current moment to dive into the current project maybe some kind of plan you have so there is this feeling of insufficiency but as saturn transits from this secretive nakshatra it will help you to unveil that you have a lot more than you were thinking about new ideas problem solving will happen so this is you strengthening so beautifully and this is going to influence your career path the first thing which gets better is your career because now you are in your full form you're not further dwelling into the weaknesses and even such weaknesses which are not there but this is simply the uh, the outer voice what people are saying constantly to you and you're believing in them so success in the career path meeting people who are actually going to guide you in some way maybe they're not uh giving you direct help but you will get the idea where you need to work more hey everyone let's talk about the sign of taurus so for you saturn transits from the shatha brasha nakshatra that is your 10th house and this is a time when i want to say you are breaking your own records you're breaking your own pattern like whatever you have achieved till now you're moving forward you're getting more success and it's it's not just about the material success the professional success but reaching to a point of excellence that even you will wonder what just happened you're doing so brilliantly in your work the work is not easy trust me whenever the saturn rahu connects somewhere in the chart it's not easy and i have mentioned in the introduction there are trials in this transit and the biggest trial here is people blocking you from doing your best from doing what you want the way you want but who can stop you no one saturn is helping in the career path it will and i think whatever work you will do right now it's going to help you in a long run it it sets a new path for you it creates a frame for tomorrow so there is success in the career path but also emotional pain because the people around are not much supportive not everyone you know, don't expect everyone to support you i'm not saying this absolutely no one but you know it happens with us that you know if 10 people are supporting us and one person is not supporting at all we have this tendency to focus on that one person who is not supportive and this is what is happening here and then saturn from the 10th house aspects the 12th house ruled by aries now what what is happening here it shows you're looking back you're looking uh to situations events which were not so good for you and they left a scar more of emotional scar and what saturn wants you to know what rahu wants you to change about your life is that stop looking back and even if you want maybe there is a desire like you want to isolate yourself in this particular time period just to clear out a lot of things in your mind you want to clear um the mind from many difficult situations of the past so isolating yourself and uh, focusing on addressing your intense emotions is important rather than suppressing them facing them and telling to yourself that okay i'm ready to move forward 
I'm ready to accept whatever the situation was, but I'm moving forward. And this is taking time because here Saturn transiting from the Rahu Nakshatra, what is it going to unveil in you? The hundred stars, the hundred stars of creative potential. This is the house of great imagination, the twelfth house. This is a deep, deep ocean, like you cannot see the end of this ocean. So beautiful treasures coming out of you. It could be brilliant ideas. It could be amazing skill. It could be, in general, a new outlook, outlook towards the life. So you will unveil many amazing things about you. And also, I feel that you also need some space in your relationships. Maybe till now you are focusing more on the physical aspect of relationship. Okay, we need to move in together. Okay, let's do this, do that. But now taking a break and analyzing your partnership, your relationships, where we have to work on the emotional and mental level that is what is required and before you take a step further in relationships you need to first take care of yourself that's what saturn indicates because being in the shatta bashana kshatra it not just aspects the 12th house of subconscious but it also aspects the fourth house of domestic front it represents the people uh, who, who are living with you it represents the mental peace the conscious uh, part of mind so the mind is impacted the most and listen to self listen to the soul that's the big lesson and you're going to discover something very beautiful about yourself this is the rahu zone so there's this so much to find out so i cannot exactly pinpoint <laughs> but everyone has something to find out amazing and you'll be more confident once you discover once you isolate a bit um, in this period you will realize and for a lot of people it is also traveling to far distant places unfamiliar places where you may find unfamiliar faces so there is hesitation to deal with the unfamiliar at this time. And then Saturn aspects the seventh house ruled by Scorpio. So again, it is about confronting the situation, confronting um, certain aspects of your relationship. Like, okay, let's work on this. Okay, and... Uh, this is also about stagnation in the relationships like leaving it on the time what will happen next maybe for some people it could be about starting your bond all again like working on it all again let's do this let's work on it so it may differ for everyone but the partnership marriage business partnership this is undergoing deep transformation and this transformation will, ne will never be easy at this time because for you and for the significant person you both have to face your deepest fears your own individual fears and once you go through that phase you're ready to strengthen the bond and if you are into your own work or business, you have really good ideas. You are in for a change and that big change will bring good material growth. Hey everyone, let's talk about Gemini. So Saturn transiting from Shatta Bisha Nakshatra, that is your ninth house. And the biggest theme for this transit is to move forward even if there is a fear of uncertainty what lies ahead i think taking this decision of keep 
moving forward is the biggest gift you can give to yourself. And you are going on a long, long journey. It could be a physical journey. It could be emotional journey. It could be spiritual journey. And you need to take this journey all alone. Because, um, you know, what this transit is doing, firstly, it wants you to look into your relationships the people around you because from here Saturn aspects the 11th house this is the house of friendships this is the house of the network the connections and then it aspects the third house ruled by Leo Leo is about the co-bonds the cousins the people around you the neighbors and then it aspects the sixth house of relatives it's time to really see who is on your side and who is not and as you move forward from these people these connections you will find people who are like you you are going on a journey to find your tribe to find your people who will be like you who may have uh, same kind of approach towards life may maybe similar not exact approach but the, the people with whom you can work, you can look into the future, you can look forward. And this initiation needs to be done alone. This journey needs to be taken all alone. So uh, alone. So Saturn takes you to a new path. And I think for a lot of people I see, you're not going to carry the previous burden, the previous experiences and the people with you. So that's a very positive um, aspect. Now, I have mentioned in the introduction that this transit will challenge everyone in some way, bringing some kind of trial, because the gift which is coming to you through this transit will happen after some kind of trial. And what is that test in trial for Gemini people? It is about disconnecting even no matter how much you want to connect with a person with a certain thing a certain situation like it's very important for you right now and you you cannot imagine your life without this particular uh, work or any any aspect of life you must find the courage to leave it and go ahead that is the biggest trial. Are you strong enough to leave this thing and move forward? Because Saturn aspects the third house of courage ruled by Sun and Sun, Saturn, they're enemy to each other. So Saturn is testing your courage in this transit. And also the best part is because um, you know, Saturn aspects the sixth house ruled by Scorpio. This is about addressing what you require to heal in life, physically, emotionally. Now, uh, a big change happens here. A big transformation happens here where you are realizing what you truly require in life whether it's your wealth, whether it's the people, the emotional needs you have, you are starting to focus more on maybe how to remove the blocks in me. There are times when you block your own path and now with this transit, you're removing those internal blocks and you will unveil a lot of power and courage deep within it's like crushing your own challenges, having a victory on your own inner doubts. So a great period of healing, if you are dealing with any acute health issue, something which comes back again and again, when you get triggered or frustrated or when you work a lot, anxiety triggered health issues coming back to you saturn will help in healing of those issues and definitely long distance journey 
it could be because of work it could be just because of you know you, like you want to have fun you want to explore this world it's going to bring tremendous change in how you look towards life it will strengthen you at this time and of course uh, saturn aspects the 11th house especially great work opportunities which will enhance your finances you will meet people who have equivalent success equivalent talent like you even meeting such people who are more successful than you they have achieved great things and when you connect with the with these legends these people you will learn a lot you will attain a better platform and great help as well so someone coming into your life someone senior elder mature who is more learned and this person helps you to go higher you know sometimes we are missing something and we we do need people to tell us like hey you can do this you should have done this so that kind of assistance and help will happen and i think no one can stop you from succeeding in life till now maybe the people were controlling your success because they had a hold on your emotions so they were controlling your success but you're not allowing anyone you're very much focused that sharp focus towards what you want so again a very good transit for gemini but the biggest struggle here is to leave few things behind and that is difficult because uh, you may have a fear like even if i lose this now what's next will i find this tomorrow or not so trying to have a grip on everything like i don't want to let go certain things because i don't know even if i will find this tomorrow or not or maybe i will find something better than this tomorrow or not so that is your test to to leave that aspect behind hey everyone let's talk about the sign of cancer so saturn transiting from the shatha basha nakshatra that is your eighth house and you are unveiling your i would say the ability to hold on to what you believe in i have mentioned as saturn transits from the rahus nakshatra it is bringing destruction of certain things which are not good for you and that inflict pain constantly so you are now learning to let go that death is the theme no not the physical death but death of certain things which make you weak okay and certainly for uh, the cancer people there is this ending and a new start happens from here one chapter is about to end for you and the biggest challenge is that how much do you want to invest into that chapter further like how much you want to look back into that chapter so getting over from something getting rid of something emotionally is the biggest trial of saturn transiting from the rahus nakshatra but once you collect your courage and power eighth house is also the house of how bold you are and this is what is going to get further strong for you your strength your inner belief your power so letting go of something happens here with this transit and this is going to end a cycle of pain very big changes fear of unknown is there you're not letting go certain things because you're feeling what's next what's tomorrow is it better or or is it worse that's the question 
but this is a very big change moving into a new house moving into a new country leaving the past relationship which was not good and preparing yourself for better people better things coming into your life so this is the ending saturn in shatabhasha nakshatra marks the ending and it's happening for the good and it's going to unveil so much about you your beauty who you are and what you need to do right now in order to give more structure to life you know it you have in it inside of yourself and rahu helps you to understand that where you need to work the most right now okay from here saturn aspects the 10th house this could be also moving into a new job because you are dealing with a lot of pressure uh, in the current pro- in the current professional place or you're not happy you're not having in a freedom so it's through you or maybe the circumstances of the work front it's definitely some kind of a big shift in the professional journey moving into a new place new job starting with a new skill and uh, you are taking a big risk in the professional journey and you'll be very confident about it you're gathering so much of courage as well and if you have any fear about what the world thinks of you what society thinks of you this is going to be the biggest hurdle in your growth so this needs to be uh you know this needs to be taken care of therefore disconnect from the world because some people may dishearten you at this time sharing your plans your decisions what you're preparing for the future the other people will create doubt for you and you have it those beautiful 100 stars of the shatabhasha nakshatra they're telling you you have you have all deep within trusting your intuition at this point trusting your inner voice is important you will be guided you will be shown the right path if you are lost in the voice of others the echoes coming from every corner you won't be able to focus on yourself so this is an ending it could be ending in a professional place it could be moving on to a new place leaving your home it could be ending in relationship ending in a certain way how you see your life but this is also a gift you are being reborn again with this transit and the first thing which changes with this rebirth is your career where you stand in society and you have this unmatched uh power and focus on what you want from life and how to achieve it then sun aspects the second house of family so yes there is a uh, friction here where a line needs to be drawn because people are interfering with what you want where you want to go in life so conflicts are there and financially you have to make plans right now how to save more money saturn also aspects the fifth house ruled by leo so for some people it could be giving birth to a new work project for some people it is about taking care of your children that aspect gets more difficult you have to try a new strategy you have to try new ways of bringing more happiness and peace in the life of your children in the life of your uh, loved ones it could be new strategies in your profession working on new skills something needs to be changed here because fifth house is about creative potential so you may see some struggles with the productivity so if you want to enhance your productivity you need to change something and in the matters of love romance 
yes deep understanding is important all that superficial love care superficial uh you know layers of love it's not going to work deep understanding needs to be made here in the relationships hey everyone let's talk about leo for you saturn transiting from shatha basha nakshatra that is your seventh house and it aspects the first house which is ruled by sun so i have mentioned saturn transiting from this nakshatra of rahu is going to unveil something very significant about you and this is your strength this is some kind of healing happening in your life what you need to heal and how by this healing process you're ready to move forward but also saturn leads to destruction of something which is causing pain to you again and again so what heals here and what are you getting rid of it's all about your first and seventh house axis okay sun rules the first house that is the self care house this is you but sun transits in the seventh house which is ruled by saturn and rahu both you need to take a lot of care of yourself but it's more about the social self care focusing on your relationships maintaining healthy boundaries it's important focusing on with whom you're spending most of your time most of your uh journey at the current moment like for the next one year you have to be very careful with the people okay because you may find people who are uplifting you beautifully through marriage through business partnership in general meeting people even through your work doing some kind of public service you will meet people who are helping you they will help you to unveil a lot of power within you there's support coming into your life but also it's about the pain you are dealing with in certain relationships it's not just about marriage or romantic partnership or business partnership with any person with whom you feel there is not enough exchange balance here not equal exchange of love admiration communication affection like you are doing the most and not receiving anything in return that needs to end here because you deal with a lot of pain when something doesn't come back to you what you give the expectations are hurting you in this transit so the biggest trial because i have mentioned the the gift coming to you in this transit will happen after some kind of trial how rahu saturn are uh, challenging you and the biggest trial for you is to let go certain people who are just bringing pain the biggest trial is to leave certain situations and people even if you want to continue with them sometimes you are in this period of uncertainty like oh i do see the potential things can get better but it's not getting better you're waiting and waiting and the other person is not doing what is required so becoming stuck in a contract becoming stuck in a relationship i'm not just talking about legal contract it could be a soul contract with someone you share a uh, a bond since many journeys getting stuck with that person and things are not changing the commitment here is being tested so moving forward leaving such connections and people who are not good for your mental health not good for 
in all aspects of life like you're not moving forward you're not focusing on life your own journey and everything is not bad with this transit because as sun transits from the shatha prasha nakshatra it will help you to have much better connections with the world and people are coming into your life who will make you aware like you are so precious you're so important and they're going to help you they're going to show you the direction how to improve your career how to heal yourself how to uh have better plans for future how to do constructive things in life so the relationships needs to be healed here and it's like if you are doing the most and the others are not doing enough saturn wants you to understand you need not to be stuck in those relationships because it will inflict pain constantly and not allowing you to be someone who has a great potential someone better the best version of yourself because saturn aspects the first house ruled by leo also saturn will uh, aspect the ninth house which shows taking risk moving forward in life again a lot of support coming into your life through teachers through seniors you're meeting people who are equivalent to you very talented and your work will get better new risk new opportunity in work in career is happening traveling is happening going to foreign lands far distant places meeting new people again this is very supportive for you in this transit and also uh doing certain things which you always wanted to do but you didn't had the confidence or the energy so great potential to follow the goals which you had in your mind and saturn aspects the fourth house ruled by scorpio so again i do see security issues not feeling secure with the people you are familiar with it could also be um leaving the house leaving the home and moving on to a new place finding people who are similar to you it could also be simply like buying an asset buying a property for yourself along with your partner with the marriage partner or maybe along with your business partner you're purchasing a property to further you know uh work on your business expand your business but deep within there is emotional crisis how saturn aspects the scorpio ruled fourth house not feeling confident about tomorrow there's a fear here and that fear needs to be settled because it will constantly stop you to enjoy your life hey everyone let's talk about the sign of virgo how the transit of saturn in shatha basha nakshatra will work for you so this is happening in your 6th house this is the house of competition this is the house of obstacles this is the house of the burden as well and also a house where one do feel uneasiness because there is loss of balance where you're looking for justice now saturn from here aspects the 8th house both are intense houses and this indicates the biggest change happens with this transit is to re prioritize your life you have to rearrange many things what all aspects of your life require more attention what needs to be considered first and what needs to be considered later in life so giving up on something is going to happen it's not that you completely giving up on that aspect of life that project that work 
but if you need you know mental peace if you need to focus on what is the most urgent thing right now you need to see what should be done first and what should be done later so saturn in the shatabhasha nakshatra maybe you know it wants you to give up on certain relationships certain people maybe the family people who are becoming the block in the career path you want to expand your career you want to take up a new role but something because of the family something because of the responsibility the commitment towards the family is blocking you so like you have some options all of them are important but you have to give preference you have to give more importance to one thing it may appear to be like a sacrifice initially but it's just that what is more important for now creating space for now what you require in the current scenario what you want to work on right now so giving up on something because you don't have enough space right now in your life emotionally physically and dealing with that thing a bit later because right now you know saturn transiting from the rahus nakshatra this is about bringing some kind of test a trial where you have to find something precious about yourself and here you are dealing with your own self made limitations your own challenges maybe this is just about how you wanted your life should be and it's not working for now so you are leaving that view that image which you wanted to live and you're moving forward in life with a new decision with a new uh, path so something which you created for yourself like i want this i want my life to be like this but this vision is giving more pain rather than uh bringing happiness in your life so going beyond those self made self made limitations as i mentioned rahu here is helping you to unveil something about yourself and what saturn is doing it's destroying that fear destroying that mindset which is helping you to unveil something hidden within you so what are you going to discover about yourself you are becoming more bold that deep power like you have a, you have virgo rising you have great dedication great ability to withstand the challenges and saturn here is empowering you but there are challenges in the family life or or also maybe you know you're facing litigation issues so you will come out of those issues it's just that giving time to self and you have to prioritize what needs to be taken care of right now and this is a splendid uh transit for you if you want to grow your money if you want to uh take up more work you are ready to take up more responsibilities you will be doing very good in your work despite of uh how your work is going to impact your daily routine health needs great care here but suddenly you are full of power like okay i can take up more responsibilities i can do more and this is helping you financially professionally as well from here saturn aspects the 12th house ruled by sun and it's a reminder that do not lose yourself in that work in that obstacle which you're facing right now and uh, 12th house is also about a lot of self work isolation and emotionally you are right now in a state where you want to protect your voice you want to protect your ideas 
So you have to create boundaries here in relationships. You will be surrounded by people, many people in this transit, but you're constantly also listening to your inner voice, making plans for the future, trying to hold on to the beautiful dreams you have, the dreams which make you happy, the dreams which make you hopeful about your path. It's, it's not destroying those dreams. It's just that keeping those dreams in a safe place so that you can do all the work and then you connect back to your favorite things. Maybe it's your hobby. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe uh, you want to take out time to learn something. So there are many dreams within you, uh, the things which make you happy. And then you will resume those things later. First, doing all the responsibility part is happening. And then um, Saturn also aspects the third house ruled by Scorpio. Be very careful with your speech, how you communicate with the world because, you know, this house is intense. Scorpio ruled house. And um, Saturn here indicates meeting new people with respect to work. So what you say leaves a great deep impact on other people about your personality, about your work ethic, so speech, the communication is again something which you need to focus on because it can change many things for you. Hey everyone, let's talk about the sign of Libra. What's happening for you as Saturn transits from the Shatta Bisha Nakshatra? So this is happening in your fifth house. And uh, as I mentioned, as Saturn transits from the Rahu's nakshatra, which is the nakshatra of the hundred stars, you are going to unveil something beautiful about yourself, which might have been a secret for you all the time. And as Saturn transits from the fifth house, this is about discovering your true creative self, your true potential. It could be you are going to, you know, master in a certain skill or you are, you know, doing your just regular work at the work front and how your ability is being tested every single day with that you discover something amazing, like how you are doing um, your work, problem solving how you're dedicated towards your path, the skills you have. On every single day, your skill is shining more and more. Your problem-solving ability is amazing. So with every single day at the work front, maybe even the personal life, how you deal with the situation, you will discover so much of high intelligence in you your potential in you this is the house of intelligence and potential both but there's also some kind of difficulty because i was mentioning that as sudden transits from shatta Brisha, here there will be some trial some kind of test happening in your life and this is the house which belongs to sun so it is about dealing with certain past situations which are constantly blocking you to take the future action any kind of wound which was given to you in the past that needs to be healed and this is the best time to heal that whatever bothers you on a soul level on a spiritual emotional level Sometimes, you know, you are blocking yourself by not accepting uh, a certain situation or maybe constantly looking back into that situation. It's like do not hide yourself from your own. That's the major theme, unveiling the self, unveiling your higher intelligence, your power, your potential. But the more you hide yourself from your own self, like, you know, not facing your issues, not facing your fears, it blocks your intelligence. So don't let that happen. You are unveiling 
a gift. This is the house of gift as well coming to you from the past life. So you are in your full power in this transit. And as Saturn aspects the seventh house, you are ready to be in the eyes of public using that skill, using that intelligence and power. You will see appreciation coming into your life. You will see you are ready to work on more projects. You are ready to share your skill with the world. Now, this is also indicating certain patterns repeating in relationships, in marriage, romantic relationship. And a lot of work required where you don't have to hide yourself. You have to open up your heart and discuss about what you want in the relationship, how you view the relationship. It could be also that there's a lot of secrecy in your relationship. The partner is hiding something and it's time that those secrets, the nature of this person will be discovered. But a very good transit if you really want to work on your skill, on your power. Like you have a lot of power, but how to cultivate it, how to use it, how to make the best of it. You will learn in this period, but you have to really drop the fear of uh, thinking that the past events may happen again. The past mistakes may happen again or just a situation which bothered you so much like you may get triggered again. No, you have to work on your healing as well. Saturn from the fifth house aspects the 11th house ruled by Leo. This is bringing some great advancement in the career, in your achievements. You're meeting people who are actually going to be um, very supportive in your work or maybe meeting such people who are very well um, aware of a certain subject. They are masters in, in something, in a certain skill and you may get help from them. Also, this shows, again, you know, struggle with authority, struggle with the seniors at the work front, someone who is not allowing you to work the way you want to. So the, the beautiful part is you will get the freedom. If you don't get that freedom, you're changing your path. You're moving into a new professional space, maybe uh, getting along with people who understand your skill and talent. Some changes are happening, moving into a new workplace might be possible because you're no more taking the pressure, you're not, no more taking that um, bad words coming towards you. And it's not your mistake, it's just that you're not uh, trying to work how the people want you to do. So Saturn shows freedom fighting for the creative freedom at the work front for a lot of people it is about doing your own work starting with something new it's also about you know defeating the enemy defeating the people who are challenging you and you will prove that my way of working my uh, talent is amazing okay so Saturn promises success in that difficulties in dealing with children or maybe their their own respective journeys they are dealing with their own challenges and you are here to rescue them help them in their life maybe some major life-changing events happening in the lives of your children and you will become the big support over there they require your um, efforts they require your help at this time then Saturn aspects the second house ruled by Leo. So Saturn is aspecting two major houses connected to wealth and material growth. So as Saturn aspects this house again, it shows that some amount of money is going towards the family. It could be because of someone's health, maybe an important event, a major change in the family life leading to expenditure. And for most of you, it is also about some major investment. 
saving your finances and using them in a much better way. And there are some struggles in the family life. How Saturn will look into the second house, which is ruled by Mars. Friction. People trying to take away your freedom or what you want to do and imposing their own beliefs on you. But again, um, this is emotionally challenging. I won't sugarcoat. This transit will challenge you emotionally. But the end result is amazing because here you are going to be victorious. You will get rid of your weaknesses. Whatever makes you weak and vulnerable, you're going to destroy that with your skill, with your power and the need to find freedom. Hey everyone, let's talk about the sign of Scorpio. How this transit of Saturn in the Shatta Bisha Nakshatra will work for you. Saturn in the fourth house transiting from the Nakshatra of Rahu. The major theme of this current transit is finding security, emotional security, financial security. You want to secure your boundaries. You want to secure everything in life. There is this hesitation to move beyond a certain zone. And Saturn, which is about limitations, transiting from the Rahu's Nakshatra, which is about going into the unknown, expansion. You are here being tested to move out of your comfort zone and to experience the life to the fullest. I have mentioned that Saturn's transit from Shatabhasha is helping you to unveil a gift about your own self, a true blessing within you, which will become a way, a method to heal you, to heal your life. So what you're going to unveil in this transit, it is the beautiful power of your mind. How you can go beyond your comfort zone and do great things in life. You need not to depend upon something or someone in such a way that you start feeling helpless without that particular person, situation that aspect of life, learning to grow all by yourself, learning to depend on self is the biggest lesson and the biggest gift you will discover. And uh, of course, this will be a testing period. I have mentioned this in the intro that this gift which you will unveil about your journey, about your life, it's going to happen after a test. We have two malefics here working together so the test is to you know continue to be i would say continue to move forward continue to be in motion do not stop even um you know every single day just continue to do whatever bit you can do do not stop and stagnate yourself because this transit is bringing emotional blocks and once you are stuck in that block, your ability to do things nicely, freely, happily is getting impacted. You may have to do certain responsibilities as well where you're feeling burdened, you're not happy anymore. And when you are not happy, when your cup is empty, how can you pour into the cup of other people? So this is a big test for you. Where you're, you're working for others, even you know how empty you are from within. But this strength of yours, being cons consistent in your path, is bringing not just, um, I will say, more security. You are more uh, strong in life, but you're also moving forward in your finances creating the life the way you want to creating more financial security for some people it is also about getting your dream house 
doing some kind of major property investment which is going to yield great benefit in the future so maybe you're trying to avoid major expenses because you want to purchase something valuable so you have you're trying to have a self control right now on your expenditures and how you live your life on the material aspect you're working a lot and on a soul level this transit talks about the time for many ascendants this transit is about time for scorpio also you know how saturn aspects the 6th house ruled by aries that impulsiveness of yours may become the obstacle your anger may become the obstacle the need the rush to get things done soon may become your obstacle you may feel that okay i want this i want to do this but i'm running out of time and saturn wants you to tell you that you have all the time you want but do one thing at one time especially health needs a lot of care how saturn transits from the fourth house of mind it aspects the sixth house of diseases and um, the first house of self a lot of healing is coming into your life because once you are away from your fears like you you no longer are attached to a desire of yours you're like okay if this happens i'm good if it doesn't happens i'm okay as well so going beyond that fear it brings immense healing physical healing emotional healing initiates from here but the the key to healing for you in this transit is to detach from whatever makes you mad whatever makes you go crazy like okay if i don't get this how will i live my life like will i be happy you can you will always every single day find new ways to bring more happiness more growth in your life and that's what you know rahu wants you to learn as saturn transits from this nakshatra rahu wants you to look into the core of your mind the core of your emotions you have a lot to bring into this world this is the house of moon from where saturn is transiting your imagination is amazing your mind is full of a lot of gifts it's just that you don't feel secure in your own place that is the main problem and you need to overcome that finding security in within yourself not finding security in other people that's the biggest lesson and then saturn also aspects um the house ruled by sun which is your 10th house <clears throat> so this is indicating you're bringing a lot of things from your workplace into your home maybe you're angry about something at your work front but you are damaging your personal uh life because of that whatever the anger is it's impacting you and the emotional connection you have with your loved ones maybe you are finding it hard to focus um on your family life because of your career so creating a balance between home and work life gets difficult here because you're overburdened with responsibilities or maybe it's vice versa like uh you're so busy with home that the work commitments are getting challenged and very worried about where you stand in the society forget that for a while forget it just focus that you are the universe you are everything for now just focus on what makes you happy and what's not healthy for you a great time for healing yourself hey everyone let's talk about the sign of sagittarius how the transit of saturn in the shatha basha nakshatra will work for you This transit is happening in your third house and as i mentioned the transit of saturn in this rahu's nakshatra is helping you to unveil 
something beautiful about you, your true potential, your power, your ability to create something amazing, which will help you in a long run. So Saturn transiting from your third house, this is going to uplift your ability to make better decisions. This is going to uplift your courage to be more focused towards your project, whatever you want to achieve right now. This is bringing unmatched potential and dedication towards the goals. So success in achieving what you desire. You're becoming very powerful, more focused on self and what you can do right now to improve your life. And you'll be working along with people, many more people coming into your life where you all are sharing one ambition. You have similar skills. You want to create something big. So teamwork happens. Creative work is going to happen here. And with the unveiling of your true courage, your power, and also getting more brilliant ideas, how you can use your existing skills, how you can reach to more maybe customers in your business, how to reach to more clients, how to reach to the masses with your work. This is getting better. With that, there are certain mental blocks as well because as you're going to unveil something beautiful, before that, you're undergoing a test or a trial. That's what Saturn is doing. It wants you to let go something so that Rahu then pushes something amazing in front of you. It helps you to reveal a secret. So what's going away from you? It's definitely um, time to time you are dealing with emotional issues. Most importantly, it's the self-doubt because how certain things didn't function in the past, you were trying to create something, doing something, it never worked for you and those failures, those memories are quite active in the mind. So testing your own self is happening and also how other people treated you, that is also bringing chaos. And um, I do see struggle in romantic relationships or significant friendship is happening right now where you are, you know, there's a fork in the road. You don't know where to go and what to do. Sometimes you think that you need to stick to this person or maybe you need to stick to this hobby of yours, the skill of yours. And then sometimes you feel it's not going to work. So I need to change my path. I need to change my direction. So there is a mental block where you have to take decision. Some kind of attachment is keeping you away from your goals. It's keeping you away from taking a major decision in life. This is also about dealing with someone with whom you do share a very strong bond. There's a lot to, you know, give and take a strong karmic connection. It could be a friend, it could be um, a family member, it could be a relationship. And you are struggling with that because you're uncertain about the future, what will happen next. And this is your test. Like you need to continue to go through this period of uncertainty, yet work on your goals, whatever you want to achieve in life. Don't let your courage, your power get shattered because something is not working and then your focus is completely destroyed and you're not focusing on many things which are actually working for you right now. From the third house, Saturn aspects, the ninth house, there's definitely um, healing coming into your life 
and this is coming through your spiritual path more than medicine or fitness you are going to focus on your fitness as Saturn aspects the fifth house maybe sports maybe some kind of activity you're doing but the best healing comes through the ninth house when you connect with the higher power going on a spiritual journey pilgrimage or finding a guru or simply your spiritual path is calling you like you need not to go and find your spiritual path will find you and um, this is going to help you to understand who you truly are self acceptance is a big theme for this transit once you know who you are once you accept the good and the bad in you you are ready to outgrow that situation you're ready to take risk and move ahead you need not to be in this perfect picture for the world and then saturn aspects the 12th house ruled by scorpio you have a lot of ideas dreams in your mind and you're patiently waiting to make that happen this is the time of patience maybe you know everything is happening behind the scene whatever you want you're transforming that into reality now you are ready to take actions no more stagnant energy in your life but it's happening a bit slowly because how things were in the past it's impacting your present your decision making ability definitely big connection with the foreign lands because of your work business meeting important people in the foreign lands this is helping in your career this is boosting your confidence as well but dealing with children is getting difficult and be careful while doing any kind of major financial investment do not be impulsive it's just that patience matters taking time to do something matters here hey everyone let's talk about the sign of capricorn and how the transit of saturn in the shatha basha nakshatra will work for you so this is happening in your second house of family this is the house of the food you eat the values you have and how you value yourself some big changes coming in life where you are learning to take care of yourself like you're doing your best you're working for your loved ones but in this process you're also taking care of self giving value to your own self someone is not respecting your time not respecting your efforts you consider these people or this person as a family but someone not respecting what you're giving so how saturn aspects the fourth house ruled by aries now you are ready to move beyond that situation that person because you know that this is not for me this uh struggle which i'm dealing with constantly for now it's not for me and i need to shift my focus and i have mentioned how saturn rahu are going to unveil something beautiful about you and your journey and here you are going to unveil um i would say the ability to firstly heal yourself because from the second house saturn aspects the eighth house ruled by sun and being a capricorn ascendant sun is very challenging so healing yourself trusting yourself your identity your inner voice is the biggest rescue the biggest medicine in this period and do not be in hurry that is the biggest um <clears throat> lesson here 
do not be in hurry to resolve something to bring closure to complete something you have to feel that process which is happening right now it might be difficult emotionally it might be challenging to you know withstand this pressure this force on you like how long this will continue but within this journey within this intensity you must continue to value yourself and be committed to your work be committed to what you think is the most precious and valuable thing in your life for mostly i do see um you are focusing a lot on your money on your career and you know this is something which can give you a lot of growth in the future saturn also shows uh something needs to be restructured in the family life maybe you're planning to start with your own family life or maybe within the existing family the relationships you must tell people what you believe in even if someone is not going to agree with you you need to show what's your vision what's your plan about life and have firm faith on it because you have wonderful plans but as saturn looks into the eighth house there's not enough faith there's a fear what if it fails what if what i want never happens whatever happens you will be reaching to a wonderful point in life that is the um beauty of this nakshatra saturn creating more space here like it wants you to let go something maybe it's an idea a picture a belief given to you by someone very close a family member someone special like this is what will happen this is what you need to do in life so it's the death of that idea letting go of that belief that idea so that you can create space for your own ideas maybe you know when you were a child someone said that this is how life happens this is what will happen for you and things didn't turn out to be that way so you're doing something very different in life apart from what traditions say what the values are saying you are someone who is a path breaker here a tradition breaker here because you are starting with a new journey a rebirth happens here saturn is bringing a lot of responsibilities as well financial responsibilities to his family and a major focus is on money major focus is on collecting more resources for the future but saturn really wants you to let go the patterns the ideas coming through family or what you were experiencing since you were a child you need to let go those you cannot right now grow by having those ideas in your mind for now some ideas are very um limiting in nature so financial success is happening because you are creating new plans and saturn aspects the fourth house so again it shows friction with the loved ones people testing your patience but you are focusing on your independent journey for some people it's leaving the house and uh moving into a new place and working on your assets working on your finances and you will get success in that saturn will also aspect the 11th house so again it is bringing more growth like whatever career changes you are doing right now it enhances not just your money but the entire portfolio and your name as well like people will be amazed how talented you are so like it's a process of becoming a legend okay so you are moving forward step by step 
your success is getting much better and better and you're also creating a big name in the society creating a big name in the in the career field wherever you're working right now but people are definitely jealous of you there are people who are insecure and they will question your actions so the entire focus should be on what you value these hundred stars deep within you is about your value what you feel is good what you feel is important in life focus on that hey everyone let's talk about the sign of aquarius how the saturn's transit in shatabhasha nakshatra will work for you so this is happening in your first house and i have mentioned this in the intro that the saturn and rahu are helping you to unveil something brilliant something so powerful and beautiful about yourself and this beautiful self of yours is going to not just heal you but will show you the future path what you can do now to make things more amazing more strong on a lo- on a long long run now this transit firstly talks about self because this is happening in your first house and you are on such an edge of your life maybe i would say a boundary at which you are removing a lot of blocks from you and these blocks are actually coming from the people from how you were being raised in life constantly telling you this is good for you this is bad for you you're supposed to do this not that and it was so deep rooted that when you try to disconnect from that narrative you feel ashamed you feel guilty and saturn is testing that saturn is bringing that test that trial are you going to destroy and let go those memories those feelings which are blocking you to become the best version of yourself and once you go through the spirit of pain the spirit of uncertainty that i need to release i need not to hold on to what i was doing till now what i was being conditioned till now i need to leave that once you leave that rahu here unveils something so great in you rahu unveils your ability to start your life all again rahu unveils a potential to heal most importantly this is the house of self your first house shatabhasha is about healing the, the self healing happens here more than the physical one it's more of emotional in nature spiritual in nature aligning with your true self that is the biggest gift you will see in this transit but saturn is making sure that you let go your fears you let go of your uh, pain which is actually coming through a lot of things in life coming through a lot of stages in life how you were being conditioned till now and from the first house saturn aspects the seventh house learning a lot about self through the people do not fear to be with the world to connect with the world i do see how the relationships are getting impacted as saturn transits from the shatabhasha nakshatra your own guilt something which you don't like about yourself what happened previously it be- it becomes a block in your partnership how you deal with people romantic relationships you're not feeling comfortable to be yourself in that relationship so you're going through that challenge of coming out of that difficult phase difficult form 
and you're ready to outgrow this situation rahu is helping you in this to be fearless to open up unveiling your true beauty unveiling what you want to do in life rather than what you were being told to do so the ch the relationships are being challenged the business partnership is being challenged because maybe till now you were not quite vocal about what you want or you're not vocal about expressing your concerns because you you are feeling like i may appear to be powerless but now you are in your full power and a lot of healing here again more concerned about your health more concerned about your daily routine big changes in the career path it's not about your ambition it's not about how much money do you get it's about what aligns with your soul what aligns with your happiness focusing on such field maybe focusing on your hobby transforming into a profession maybe you're in the existing uh, work only but doing something which makes you happy which makes you proud of yourself you're challenging your own self in this transit so the career is improving brilliantly a big rebirth a big transformation happens because saturn aspects the 10th house ruled by scorpio you are uncomfortable at the initial stage of this change but something better is being created in the career path you are feeling like it's a very risky step to take but once you go through that again that intense emotion of risk and fear you will be so powerful so big change in the career path a risk is being taken you don't know what happens next but all you want is to have this big shift and change so there is a risk in the career path and saturn also aspects the third house ruled by aries again the communication with the people making yourself understood is important not keeping it a secret anymore like a, a line needs to be drawn how much secrets you share about yourself and how much you want to explain who you truly are so do not be too impulsive to share your secrets with everyone but in the significant relationships it's important that you need to make yourself understood talking about your emotions talking about your strategies at the work front and telling people like okay this is my way of working do not hide because of any insecurity and saturn will also aspect the third house which is ruled by aries so this is going to test your courage how open you are to share your views with the world how open you are to share what you want what you want to get done in life whether it's your personal life whether it's your professional life you are becoming more open to the world and more vocal about what you require what you want to change in your journey effective communication is the most important thing do not hide your emotions and also do not be in some kind of rage or anger to show this is what i want so balance in how you communicate is required hey everyone let's talk about the sign of pisces how the sun's transit in the shatha bhasha nakshatra will work for you so this is happening in your 12th house and i have mentioned how saturn and rahu in this nakshatra of 100 stars is going to unveil something beautiful about you so the beauty which comes through this the healing which comes through this transit is having a faith in your dreams you have beautiful dreams uh within you but all you need to do is to work on a plan you should have a strong strategy a firm plan 
to accomplish what you are dreaming of and saturn's transit in the shatabhisha nakshatra will initiate that ability to create something solid in your life so you are unveiling your gifts 12th house i always say it's the deep deep ocean and you can never stop discovering something beautiful a talent your ability your power there's so much here but also there are fears of the unknown having self doubt all of this acts as an obstacle and though you know saturn rahu are helping you to unveil a lot about your true self but saturn also wants you to undergo a test like it wants to know are you worthy of finding this beauty are you worthy to have this blessing to create better plans to to become more aware of your strength firstly to become more aware of what you can do in life saturn is bringing a test and that is it's okay to not know what lies ahead because in the 12th house definitely you have fears of tomorrow there is uncertainty there is also a sense of loneliness coming through this transit and once you are stable once you are okay with this uncertainty you are continuing your journey you're not stopping anywhere despite of this struggle emotional pain as well you are constantly moving and moving this is helping you to get successful in this test of saturn so getting rid of certain fears regarding tomorrow also not depending on other people for your growth for your happiness is a major task because saturn aspects the second house of family you will have many responsibilities towards your loved ones you're fulfilling your responsibilities you are bringing more um, wealth for them you're bringing more resources for them but definitely as this house is ruled by aries people are thinking that you are a rebel you're not listening to them their opinion doesn't matter clash of opinions clash of decisions outlook towards life is happening some situations of life which are beyond control and for now what you can do is to just hang in there do your best and focus on self because um you know saturn also aspects the 6th house ruled by leo focusing on your daily routine do not be so uh, worried about a certain thing that you isolate yourself from everything from the world isolating yourself from the day to day activities not focusing enough on what needs to be done every single day so saturn aspects the 6th house ruled by leo focus on the day to day activity the day to day tasks in life taking care of health and having certain goals for every day and do that work every single day if you have a hobby take up some time for that hobby and continue to do your work as well so if you improve your daily life during this transit automatically you will be blessed with the power to deal with any kind of situation which you feel is out of control you have to um focus on many things not just focusing on the isolation or the pain you are dealing with and saturn also is going to aspect the ninth house ruled by scorpio very unexpected gifts coming into your life unexpected opportunities coming into your life and you will be surprised like oh this happened meeting someone who is your role model this person is doing great in life and you will be inspired by that person 
coming across a guru a teacher may happen and you are uh, also traveling a lot in this transit because of your work or maybe you are on a spiritual journey and this is helping you to meet with people who belong to different cultures understanding their spiritual path so great spiritual advancement happens here but there's also a lot of worrying about the future how certain aspects the sixth and the ninth house and you are ready to take new risk new initiatives in the career path the initial response is that you're not very open to the changes but eventually you will gather courage to work on these changes these shifts professionally uh, you are overburdened with saturn in the shatabhasha nakshatra maybe you know you're not having a good sleep you have to work in the night shifts maybe so more work happening at the night whether you work in an office you work at home you you may focus more at the night time like focusing on your work finding time to do uh, some of your personal uh, work taking care of your home more work is happening in the night time which is disturbing your sleep and your daily routine as well and you will see more opportunities in far away places in the foreign lands as well for a lot of people this is about moving into a new city new country as well and saturn in the shatabhasha nakshatra in the 12th house is also about um developing a very strong connection with the divine like what is so beautiful about this transit is that you are now getting into this state of harmony with the higher power this is the house which is so different from others it really enhances your connection with divine so now you're getting to this point of harmony where your plans are coming along with the plans of the higher power like you're okay with not knowing what's happening tomorrow and there is a surrender here that i know something beautiful happens i know that what i seek will happen i don't know how and when i surrender that surrender is something again beautiful happening with this energy of uh, shatabhasha this is giving you back a lot of happiness and light when you surrender okay and yes finances are a major issue maybe it's not a crisis but you feel like you're not having sufficient and you deserve more the way you work hard so your major focus is to expand your resources getting better income or maybe getting a promotion as well 